Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a safe space for everyone that loves aesthetics, cozy vibes, books, etc. And today I really wanted to talk about my current favorites, mainly three books and three films that I currently adore because these are the main things I tend to consume and I wanted to talk about them. First of all, I really want to talk about The Idiot and Either Or by Elif Patuman because I have fallen in love with the writing style of the author. So Elif Patuman writes in this stream of consciousness sort of way that I didn't know I was going to enjoy so much. It's weird because at the core of these books isn't like a strong plot or storyline. They're more like a window to the main character's life, her day-to-day, -day, going to classes at Harvard, her inner thoughts and ideas. It definitely had me hooked, but I think these books are not necessarily for everyone. I think they're going to be like Marmite. You either love them or hate them. Personally, I really loved Selene, the main character. I found that I really related to her and her inner dialogue sometimes, like her thoughts during class or her thoughts and ideas in regards to social cues and the way people are meant to interact. I found Selene to be quite funny in general, but I did get very frustrated with her, especially the interactions she had with Ivan, who was the love interest. But that could be thanks to hindsight and the fact that I'm not 18 years old anymore. And perhaps if I was her in that situation and I was 18, I would probably have been as naive as her. So I don't know, who knows? But the main thing I wanted to talk about is the writing of the author. I did a little bit of research and Elif Patuman did in fact study Russian literature and it shows. I came out feeling more intelligent after reading both books and that's not me trying to sound pretentious. I genuinely felt enriched by all of the ideas and topics that she somehow interlaces throughout the story. In particular with Either Or, I loved the writing regarding Selin's dilemma about whether to live an aesthetic or ethical life. As you can see, I annotated several parts of the book. I really loved both of them, so I just really wanted to recommend them. If you haven't read them, I really think you guys should. I love them. Moving on, I wanted to talk about The Lover by Marguerite Dura, which was such a short book, but so captivating. It's also strange because at times it feels disjointed because the narrative goes from first person to third person, but it's all tied together by some of the most gorgeous prose I've ever read. The book follows a 15-year-old girl who is living in colonial Vietnam and begins a relationship affair with an older, wealthier Asian man. Although the writing around the relationship is very passionate and raw, and there's this suggestion throughout the book that the girl is a willing participant in this relationship, what I found the most fascinating were the writings centered around the family dynamics especially between the girl and the older brother and the girl and the mother. The older brother being incredibly abusive to the girl and the younger brother and yet the mother sees him as her favorite and someone who does no wrong. So yeah, I ended up watching the film as well because I was very intrigued to see how it was portrayed cinematically and I really enjoyed it but I will talk about that later in the video. Lastly, I wanted to mention The Orange and Other Poems by Wendy Cope. I've been trying to read poetry more often and I found this book to be so heartwarming and sweet. Poems are mostly about love and the simple things in life and it's exactly that. It kind of reminds you of all the lovely things that life can bring even in its most boring, ordinary way. I would be very surprised if you read these poems and you didn't feel all warm and fuzzy inside afterwards. So for that, I felt like it really deserved to be mentioned and the cover, it's gorgeous. Moving on to films, there are three films that I've been loving lately. 
Let's start with The Lover because I already spoke about the book. So it turns out the film for The Lover actually exceeded my expectations. I thought overall it was a very accurate rendition of the book and I really enjoyed the narrations throughout the key moments of the film. The actress that played the girl did such a superb job, I was generally like mesmerized with how she took ownership of the character. I will say, in the book the author says that the Asian man is kind of weak and feeble, whereas in the film the Asian character is very dashing and a lot more attractive so I guess that wasn't entirely accurate but it's just a very minor detail I guess but generally if you love a vintage aesthetic and stunning visuals you should give the film a go just as an FYI there are some very passionate intimate moments so just so you know but overall, I thought it was beautiful and I kind of haven't stopped thinking about it since I watched it so that's when I knew that I should probably talk about it on this video and recommend it to you guys. Do make sure to let me know your thoughts if you decide to watch it as I would be very interested to know what you guys think. The second film I wanted to recommend because I've been loving it lately it's Picnic at Hanging Rock, which is an Australian film from the 70s and I think it became very influential in Australian cinema. So the film is set at Apple Yards College, which is a private girls' school. It's a hot summer day and the headmistress decides that the girls and a couple of teachers should be allowed to go on a day out, a picnic, at um, Hanging Rock, which is a location near the school. They get there and the girls are having fun, they're eating cake, playing, talking with each other. But then, three of the girls ask one of the teachers for permission to go exploring other areas around the rock. The teacher is reluctant at first, but then agrees and of course, those girls go missing. It's a fascinating film because the visuals are very dreamy, very ethereal and the whole atmosphere is that of girlhood but there's also this undercurrent of eeriness that has been there from the very beginning of the film and it has you feeling like someone is definitely going to happen at the beginning you don't really know what and then you don't really know why the whole movie is kind of a mystery and the music really helps at placing you in like a state of trance as well where like you're confused, you don't know what's happening, where are the girls... I don't know, I thought it was very interesting and it had one of those endings that left you thinking and pondering as to what the meaning of the film as a whole was so for that I really wanted to recommend it the last movie that I wanted to mention in my current favorites is The Dreamers and this is a film that I had seen so long ago but I kind of had forgotten about it and it's actually very dark academia. So the film follows an American student called Matthew and he's studying in Paris where he meets twins Theo and Isabelle and they quickly form a friendship over their shared obsession with cinema. And Theo and Isabel ask Matthew to move in with them because their parents are going to be away for a month. And the film follows their many conversations, getting to know each other, talking about cinema, politics and anything in between. They are sort of in this isolated bubble where they are sleeping with each other, talking about cinema, finding out who they really are and what they want to stand for in life. Meanwhile, there's a literal revolt in the streets of Paris and they seem totally oblivious to that fact. The love for cinema is clearly evident from the part of the director. The twins often reference scenes from old movies and I really enjoyed that the director chose to showcase some of those scenes within the film. I thought it made it more impactful and it made me feel like I was one of them. The part of the film when they are running at the Louvre is literally iconic and if you're into Dark Academia, I wouldn't be surprised if you've seen photos of it on your Pinterest. But overall, I think it's an amazing film, it's one of my favorites, I tend to love French cinema so I really think you guys should watch it if you haven't seen it yet. I knew for sure it had to be part of my current favorites. And I guess that's it for the video. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed listening to my current favorites and I think if you guys enjoyed these sort of videos I might start doing monthly favorites where I talk about my favorite books I've read and the best films I've watched so do let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like me to do but yes as always if you have enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already I will see you guys soon on the next video. Bye!